everybody. So I am going to pour on this 14 inch round it's going to be a resin pour and I am using this Faux Rizzle Art Resin. Um, I paid for this. They don't even know I'm doing this video. They have no idea who I am. So I <laughs> am not getting anything from them or whatsoever. So just thought I would clear that up. So I was reading the directions to them and the directions are unlike any other directions I've read unless I have been doing my resin wrong for years, which I, I don't think so. <laughs> so this says you need, okay, it's on the other one. Um, this one says pour hardener first followed by the resin, mix well for three minutes, scraping, etc., yada, yada, that stuff's normal. But then it says to pour that into another container and mix again for three minutes. Um, it does say if adding a base color, this is when you would mix it into the epoxy mixture. Well, I'm actually using six. So I'm a little confused um, as to exactly when to do it. So I think what I'll do is I'll do my three minutes and then I'll transfer it and stir and then I'll divide it and then I'm going to have to stir it anyways. Um, I am adding in phthalo green. I have never, ever done this before. I did that pour. Um, into the tray where I just added some Pearl X powder to it, but I've never done one where I've added paint. So this is a first for me. So I've got phthalo green, uh, deep yellow, ultramarine, and white. And then I am using gold and turquoise. So this is all very, very new to me. Um, let me glove up. And I'm going to mix up eight ounces for the main reason that uh, these have four and eight ounce markings on them. These are from the dollar store. So, okay, so it said. Do, 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 pour hardener first. Um, so, B is the hardener. So if you're pouring it first, then shouldn't it be A? I think it should be A, personally. I would think that whatever you're mixing first should be A. All right, so... Because I've mixed together and I've done it all sorts of different ways and I've never had a problem. But this specifically says I will have a problem, so I'd like to avoid. If, if it's telling me I'm going to have a problem, then I'm going to listen. idea what I'm going to talk to you people about for six minutes while I'm stirring and I don't All right, let's see 448 so 51 let's see why don't you tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see from me um, let's see I would love to know that um, Video count's been going down lately, so maybe I need to spice it up. So tell me what, what, uh, what can I do to spice it up? 
Um, nothing X-rated because I don't want to get kicked off of YouTube. Um, but otherwise, I'm all ears. <laughs> Feel free to also forward this till I get to the good stuff um, because it is, it can't be that interesting watching me stir and try and find my water because I'm dying of thirst. Hopefully this 20 second pause will not make the resin go angry on me. Um, I'm trying to think how much I paid for this. Uh, I can't remember, $25 maybe? So, it seems that all of them are like 100 for a gallon, give or take. And I think this one is no different. But if this always has to be mixed for six minutes like this, that's kind of irritating. <laughs> Let me check my watch. Oh, one more minute. But I feel like I'm going to be losing so much resin um, transferring twice because it's going to stick to the sides. Uh, I feel that I will be losing some, and I hope this is enough. Oh my gosh, seriously, when you're timing it, it's so slow. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. La 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 la. Hum to yourself. Let's sing a song. I should do an experiment where I mix it the way I like to, where, the way I usually mix my art resin um, and see if it does make a difference because I'm dying to know. I'm assuming it just won't harden and I think that's what it said on there. It did say what will happen. But I want to know for myself because that's how I am. I learn by making mistakes. That's the best way I learn, is by doing and flubbing. Alrighty. Let's see what it does say. Um, failing to switch containers and mixing for a full six minutes will result in an incurable surface, including soft spots. these other containers. Gosh, I really hope I have enough resin. And you know what? I am going to, because I'm going to be stirring each one of these. And I'm breaking the rules. I know. I know I am. But as I said, they don't know who I am. They don't know I'm doing this, so I don't have to follow the rules. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? But I will keep stirring these little ones anyways. Which I think I'm pouring way too hot. that aside for a minute. And, whoops. 
soft spots, it's my own damn fault. But this is going to take more than one coat probably anyways. I'll probably put a layer of clear over it regardless. So. Pearl X powders. Oh my gosh, if I if they get out, they're gonna be everywhere. Gold. Maybe. Probably shouldn't have had that sitting right there. bunch of other mica powders, um, not Pearl X brand, just like super cheap one from Amazon, but I can't find where I put them all. None of them seem as vibrant as the Pearl X though. Alright, now's the part that I'm a little nervous about. I don't know how much paint you're supposed to mix. I'm guessing it's not a lot. I don't know. I'm going to use the same thing. Well, that looks good. Looks like it should, I suppose. Kind of thinking I might not have enough resin. And yellow. And I'm just going to, because I am short a stick, I'm going to use the gold. I could be doing this totally wrong. I've never watched a video on it, really. Maybe like a year or so ago. I don't know if this white is going to be opaque or translucent with the resin. I don't know if that changes it. I don't know anything. Well, it looks opaque. <laughs> I just remember trying to do a resin once and pouring like my pre-mixed paints in it with the water, the Floetrol, everything. Whew, that was a huge mess. Let's see, there's still some regular in here, so I'll add that in all the way. Now 
Uh, let's see. I'm gonna plug in my hair dryer. more I'm not I mean I want it to look good obviously but considering I've never done this before I'm also just wanting to see what happens I mean obviously I want it to look good So I'll just pour on the rest of the regular. It's gonna go all over. Just remember, never done this before. <laughs> Heat it up.
picked colors that would look good together no matter what. So, at least I'm, at least I'm uh, okay on that front. The colors are looking good. This is the stickiest. It's like taffy. Maybe that's because of the paint. really pretty. Um, I need to get my flashlight so that I can go through and see if I see things that don't belong in here. What I saw a Oh my gosh, this stuff is really sticky. I think it's all, it's all good. Okay, on the amount. Take the gloves off. So I'm going to go ahead and put a plastic cover on top to keep it clean and nothing falling in it 
and I will update you once it's dry. Thanks for watching. Bye. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Yay, it is dry and it is smooth and it all turned out. I am so excited because this is the first time I've ever done this. Um, and I think for, well actually it's the third time. The first time was like three years ago and it was horrible. So this is the first time I've ever done it where it turned out looking okay. Um, I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do uh, with it. Um, but I'm very excited. I did tape up the back, so I need to pull those off. But then it is, it's done. Even got some kind of, you know, some cells. It's just, it's very peaceful, kind of oceany, earthy. Um, so I don't know if I will be trying this again anytime soon. Um, but I probably should because I know there are lots of different techniques. Um, I'm interested in using the faux rizzle as just a regular coat coating on one of my paintings, so I still need to try that. But thank you so much for watching, and of course I'll catch you next time. Bye!